everyone! So after seeing tons of DIYs on YouTube on how to paint your bobby pins with nail polish, I got inspired to make these 7 different ways to decorate your bobby pins. So the first way is to make a bow bobby pin. For that you will need a pair of scissors, a fork, 2 types of ribbon, and a glue gun. So you're going to begin by placing one of the ribbons above a fork, then place the other one under the first ribbon and through the middle of the fork and then you're going to take the first ribbon and put it on every other row of the fork. You're going to continue to do this until you reach the very top of the fork. And then you're going to take the second ribbon we placed through the fork and tie a knot. And make two knots to make it really secure and then remove it from the fork. And now you're just going to cut the excess off. You're going to put a bobby pin on a kitchen roll and then put some glue at the very end and put on the bow and this is so cute guys and that's how to make this bow and this looks so cute on straight hair by the way <laughs> and this is definitely my favorite also and then moving on to glitter bobby pins for that you will need nail polish and some glitter so you're going to place the bobby pin on a kitchen roll cut the kitchen roll in half and flatten it out just to make it easier to paint the bobby pins and then you're just going to simply paint the bobby pins with nail polish on both sides And then while the nail polish is wet, you're going to sprinkle on some glitter on the front of the bobby pin. And then shake the excess off. And then you're going to remove it from the spot where you painted them and put it on another spot on the roll and just let them dry before using it and that's it. And then for to make these tiny heart bobby pins, you will need yarn and a hook. I'm using 2.50 millimeters hook and then a pair of scissors, a glue gun. And then you're going to begin by doing a slip knot. Put the slip knot through the hook and tighten it. And then you're going to chain two. Then into the first loop, you're going to make two double crochets. And then you're going to make two half double crochets into the first loop again. going to make one double crochet into the first loop now make two half double crochets into the first loop Then 
we're going to make two double crochets into the first loop We are going to chain two and make a slip knot into the middle of the heart. Pull the yarn out and then cut the excess off. And then you're going to place the yarn through the heart in the middle. Cut the excess off and then glue gun on the back. And then you're just going to simply glue it on the bobby pin. Now to make the yarn wrap bobby pins you will need yarn, a pair of scissors and then glue gun. So you're going to put the yarn through the bobby pin, then put some glue at the very end cut the excess off. Now you're just going to simply wrap the yarn around the bobby pin as tight as you possibly can until you reach the other end. And then you're going to put some glue at the very end, wrap the yarn around the glue and then cut the excess off. flower bobby pins you will need thick flowers you could also glue on other cute pendants that you want and then a glue gun so basically you're just going to glue the flower onto the very end of the bobby pin and this is definitely the the easiest of all of these that I'm going to show you guys because you're basically just going to glue it on the bobby pin now for the next one is the beaded bobby pin and you will need some beads and a glue gun. So you're just basically going to glue on the beads on the bobby pin and here I'm putting on a cute little uh, butterfly pendant and then I'm adding the other uh, beads onto the bobby pin and you could really get creative with this and put different colored bobby I mean different colored beads and different sizes and definitely use a tweezer if you're dealing with really small beads Now for the nail polish bobby pins you will need nail polish and some paper and you're going to place the bobby pins on the paper and then you're going to paint the bobby pins with the nail polish and this is the most famous bobby pin decor you can see on YouTube and it's the one that inspired me to make this video for you guys <laughs> Then make sure to paint the other side of the bobby pins as well and then remove one sheet of paper and paint a second layer if you need to. And then you're just going to let it dry and then that's it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me your favorite designs down below in the comments box below. So thank you so much guys for watching. I will see you next Sunday. Love you guys. Bye. Thank you.